Hello and welcome back to the channel. Ed Padgett here and today is part two of my series on knee rehab. Now, knee pain is one of the most common problems that we can have. And after we've taken away a bit of the initial inflammation, I'm gonna show you how to strengthen it, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna assume that you, your knee is less painful and you can actually put some weight on it, okay? So we've done the part one exercises that you need to do to get you to this situation. So if your knee is sore and swollen, then go back to part one, do those until you can actually stand up onto your knee. I'm also gonna assume that you've had your knee looked at and you've got no um, ligament tears, so ACL, MCL, or lateral collateral ligaments, and you've got no meniscus tears, okay? So this is just a swelling of the knee. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is, let's say I'm working with my left knee, left knee here. What I wanna do is get a little bit of a, a motion, so a squat type motion, okay? And so we can squat with two legs like this. So you slide your bum backwards and you have a little flexion in your knees. We don't wanna to go too far forwards, the knees to start with, so the action actually comes from the hip. Now, if this motion doesn't hurt, that's fantastic. If it does hurt, what we can do is try and find a position in which it doesn't hurt. So we can either turn the feet outwards just a little bit and do that, or we can turn the feet inwards just a little bit and do that. Hopefully that will create less pain. Now, if we're not getting there with less pain, or if you want to take this uh, exercise to the next level, which we will, I would like to do this. So you're going to lift the heel of one foot. Okay, so I'm lifting the heel of my right foot. Now all the weight is on my left leg. Now if I do this, this might well be painful. So what I want to do is get the hips to really help out the knee here. So I'm put my hands down in front of me, and I'm going to twist to about 45 degrees towards my left side. So I'm on my left leg, and my hands gone to my left. Now I'm going to lean forward slightly. So from the side, it looks like this. So my back, my butt went backwards, okay? Now from here, I'm going to do a little squat down. You can see most of that squat is happening in my butt. A little bit of my knee, but not much, okay? So I'm really just sliding my hips forwards and backwards. So again, hands in front of you, lift the heel up on the side that's not injured, turn 45 degrees, slide the hips backwards, and you're gonna go a little bit further into that motion, okay? So with that, you shouldn't have any pain. Now you can go a little bit deeper and find that threshold, okay? We don't wanna push the threshold, but we just wanna find the threshold. So if you can get down to here without pain, that's fantastic, okay? Once we're getting down to, let's say 45 degrees, Okay. So this, the angle of my uh, thigh is at 45 degrees. Then we can think about changing some, some things. Now what we can change is this. We can change the 45 degrees and we can change the forwards. And you know, we can also sort of move the hips left and right as well. So let's start check by changing the angle here. So here I am, leaning forwards, 45 degrees, no pain. And I'm gonna slowly bring the hands around back to this middle position or neutral. If I still have no pain here, that's fantastic. I would stay here probably for uh, two or three days doing this motion. I don't want to push the knee into where it's painful. But when I'm very confident that I can do this without pain, I would then start taking the hand the opposite direction. Now this makes the hips do less work for the knee and puts more pressure on the knee. So this becomes harder. So we're starting here, leaning forwards, edging our way back to here. Now, if I can go to here, 45 degrees, squat down here to 45 degrees with the knee bending like this, with still no pain, this is good. This means my knee is really getting better. So I'm gonna challenge it a little bit now. I would actually raise that hand up slightly. So rather than going uh, forwards or down, I'm gonna go up just a little bit, and that puts more pressure onto my knee. Now I would do this all the time pain-free. So I wouldn't do any of these motions so I wouldn't do squats if any of these motions made the, uh, the knee more painful. So we're constantly working pain-free, we're constantly pumping any uh, fluids out of the knee, we're getting the calf to talk to the hip, we're getting the, the hip muscles to talk up to the back muscles. So we're really integrating this functional chain. So I'm just gonna run through that again, see what that looks like, okay? So here I am, squatting, make sure I've got no pain. Lift the heel up, squatting, no pain, Hands to here, 45 degrees, lean forwards just a little bit, butt comes backwards just a little bit, maybe even lower my hands down, okay? And I'm doing the main squat motion with the hip joint. 
Over time, I'm going to bring the hands up, and then I'm going to start going the other way, and then I'm going to go up here. Now, over time, that can take one, two, three days, or even a week sometimes. Once we've established that we can squat quite nicely with the hands, either at neutral or slightly to the opposite side of the sore knee, I'm going to show you how to do a lunge on that side. So again, it's going to be my left leg. You put all the way in the left leg, <coughs> tiptoes on the, on the right foot, but put the foot behind you. What we want to do is this. We're going to take the knee forward just a little bit, not too far. We don't want to go sort of crazy out here. So, you know, within the line of the toes. So if I draw a line up from my toes here, coming up like this, I don't want my knee to go too much further than that. It's not a hard and fast rule, so don't panic about that. But just a little bend in the knee. And from here, I want you to keep your back nice and straight and hip hinge, hip hinge, hip hinge, hip hinge, until you feel all the hamstrings and the butt lighting up. Your hands can be down by your side if you like. And then once the butt is lit up, then I'm going to take the knee down to here. So I've got almost or well, over a 90 degree bend in the knee, but I haven't put a huge amount of pressure into it. I've taken it all into my butt. Now coming up, we're going to actually pull the knee backwards just a little bit like this. And then I straighten up through my hip. Okay, so we're going to go through that again. Knee, ba knee bends just to sort of break the, the lock of the knee. Hip hinge until I feel everything tighten up. And then from here, I'm just going to rock back, take the other knee down to come back up. I think about pulling this knee backwards. And I push up, 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 up through the, through the left leg. Knee going backwards, hip comes up. Okay? And that type of one-legged lunge will fire up those hip muscles for you so that you can really get the hip to take care of your knee. I'm going to wrap this video up now. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend who you think will enjoy my content as well. Thank you so much for doing those things. Your support makes a huge difference. Also, you may know that I help people online recover from injuries, but I have a special interest in helping people with back pain and scoliosis. If you have scoliosis, I want to tell you about the amazing community we are building over on Facebook. I'd like you to join this group, which is where a lot of the action and interaction happens within the community. Just follow the link in the description below or in that first pinned comment. Stay tuned for part three, which will be up soon. Till then, stay loose.